I have a whole new team. He's going almost sacked. Gets it off. He's got somebody there. Where the fuck he caught a route? I don't know. Um, got 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 solid. Got a solid D minor O line. Fourth and caught ten. Snap. Looking to run. Sack. That was the first thing I went for. Um, it's a lot of new guys. That's the biggest. That was the biggest. My biggest concern. So I got that out early. Snaps slow again. He caught it. Picked it up. He sacked. And like legit, legit guys that play line. So um, that. Bad boys too. I'm not sure. I don't remember. And he sacked. Snap. And he sacked. Looking, and he caught it, and he's got both flags still, touchdown Titans. Snaps away, he's got time going to the back corner again, two point is good. Snaps away, he's looking, and I'm going to say it's sack. sack from the other side this time. Snap, almost hit me over here. After the box, fourth down snap. In fairness to the center, it hit the quarterback's hands. That's a big guy over there, stiff arm in. And touchdown, Titans. Snaps away, he's got pressure, he's running. Sacked. Ball on the ground again. Snap. Got plenty of time. Throws it deep. Caught! Touchdown, Venom! Snaps on the ground. He picks it up. Avoiding the rush. Fall down. Snaps away. Looking like he's going to maybe throw it now. And he punts it. It's a rolling punt. Out of bounds. Yeah, man. Like, and, the, and, the, and the crazy part is, it's like that... Every game I'm taking like that because a lot of guys, you know, they doubt, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what? Oh, he's not going to like a lot. Of, like, no, I just put it out there. A lot of guys that came to me uh, that I talked to and a lot of guys I tried to recruit, they was like, well, no, nah, I ain't. We not. We got we got in a row with you because we heard you're not going to play have a team. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, get a team and stuff like that. So when I hear those things and people send me screenshots of what people say, so it's a, it's it's a it's it's a it's a lot of it's a fire it lights a fire up under you that a lot of people don't got. So you know what I'm saying. A lot of guys don't like to compete against like you know what I'm saying some of the some of the top teams, but I I embrace all that. I want all that. Josh Floyd wants all the smoke this year in 2021. Yeah. And then like the fact that you know. For me, like I told you guys, since they and I, I was kind of, I was kind of like, oh, like on the on the end of like excited, cause they said, you know, said they're only taking the top eight, and the goal is for me, is to make the top eight as a first year team. So, a lot of uh, I don't know who gonna be out. I ain't gonna say who could be out, but it ain't gonna be us. Uh, memory of elite. Uh, he, yeah, it was a very rough season for elite. Um, they were not top eight. Well, not there to cover some of their games, though. You got you got half their games. Um, you were supposed to do uh, two more games uh, or one more game because uh, I was going to do one. You were going to do one. We thought it was a good 50-50 compromise. If Ross does one elite game, I'll do one elite game. Um, Are you talking about uh, uh, Sunday? Yeah, well, in general for the season. Yeah. yeah. I showed up Sunday and only half the field was covered. It was all right out, guys. They showed about 50 deep. D Lee showed up with. Uh, I keep saying not even a one, but I don't know. You know there's always that one sitting over there in plain clothes that was just part of the crowd. 
I think he was just waiting to see if anybody else would show up. Yeah. Um, now there's always that one that still wants the ball. <laughs> yeah, that was. Oh man. Yeah. Poor elite. You know, we first heard about Elite about uh, right around February when I was still trying to run the four state fours. And I also heard it was supposed to be in a York tournament. And then I heard they were in a ace, they were gonna go to AC and be part of the B bracket with the Rebels and the Elite Rebels. And we talked about the possibility of Elite Rebels versus Elite versus Rebels in a pool play. Um, you know, having gotten to see uh the results so far, it's a shame that Elite is gone. Elite. Elite. Yeah. All right, so here's my question to you. Doom Squad or, or Elite? Top Soldier's a better comparison. Right. Yeah, Doom Squad at, at was already low to start and injuries happened. And <laughs> that was a That's still- Top Soldier's skipped their first game. Showed up with nine their second game and lost by 40. Showed up with 30 their next game and lost by 30. Showed up with nine again the next game and lost by 20. And then forfeited the next two, and that was it. So this is kind of more like top soldiers. Yeah, Yeah, I. they didn't show up for May 16th. I remember Josh Floyd walked past me. I said, hey, and he nodded his head. Seemed like he was in a good mood. Then no one showed up for him. And then this week, seemed like things were going to happen. Then no call, no show. He didn't need to show up. We'll see him back soon. He's not going to give up. No, I, I think this was just a case where he had guys who were committed and maybe some fell apart, but it's a shame. Remember Elite yeah. and all the good times we had watching him over the years. Like that Titans game you covered. That was your first OMFFL game. How did it make you feel? Watching uh, Doc ball out. Doc's still balling, man. Yes, bro. We got to talk about what Doc was doing on Sunday. Can we talk about what Doc did on Sunday? Yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about Sunday in general. Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning, Ross and I rolled up about eight o'clock, got onto the field. Uh, I was ready for my first game. Elite Rebels were taking on Venom. And on Ross's field, ride out was taking on themselves. <laughs> yeah, so first game was supposed to be ride out of the lead on Ross's field, but unfortunately, that was not the case. Ride out came with about enough to field two squads and play an inner squad game. Maybe have like a old school practice, Lionel versus Lionzel. See how that goes. Make it fun. Yep. It said we got nothing. Elite wasn't there. Oh, well. On my field, Elite Rebels took on uh, Venom. Rebels were very light and thin they on were. Sunday. Yeah. Also defense yeah, like that I saw TJ was, was an edge rusher uh, a couple of times. That was my first game. Game from like, oh, yeah, I was very surprised by seeing that, um, especially because – I don't know. It's tough. Early kickoffs are hard for some guys to make. Like, yeah. you know, I think we've seen it in our leagues in the past where guys don't usually get up early enough to do these games. And sometimes you get a week where maybe you're not too excited about everything. You know, maybe the night before you can go somewhere, maybe at work or something. Who knows? Life just happens. Rebels went out, though. They played well. Didn't really skip a beat. They won. I think it was 22-6 was the final there. I ended up uh, leaving about two minutes to go to try to go and take a break before getting back on the field. Let Ross do the second game. You, you decided to take a break before your break. Well, yeah. I'm not figuring you wanted to get a game, man. I know you had to start, so got to get you warmed up, too. What? Your next ride game out. up. Your next oh, game was ride out versus uh, Venom, right? Was it Venom? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Venom moved over. Yeah. Talk to me yep. about ride out Venom. Uh, ride out defense played lights out. Yeah, their defense has been ridiculous for this uh, um, Venom for this month at least. Venom, like I said, on live, Venom came out, put a new quarterback back there, see what they could do. 
Many complaints for the place like Rob used to do. Um, yeah, first our offense is kind of struggle, but right now it's defense to fail. Against the dub. Yeah, they did just enough, and you know that's what you usually just need because yep. the time of the year, get wins, get ready for playoffs. It's gonna be a gauntlet uh, in about twelve Especially days. When actually, they just played what? How many games? Six did games. In six games. Right out, went through a war. Oh, on Sunday, eleven or four on Sunday, three and two on Saturday. You always play two yeah. different nationals. Yeah. Yeah, like right out's been busy. Looking forward to seeing how they do. Make no mistake about it. It was hot in the lake. Yeah, so that's a lot. It's decent down there in MFL. There's a lot of. Oh yeah, weather was nice. I noticed a lot of injuries though. I think the wear and tear is starting to hit a lot of guys. Wear and tear. Yeah, a lot of leg injuries. Everybody's playing a lot of ball these days. Yeah, guys are playing like everywhere now. So you got to think like. When does it start catching up for guys? Because last year, you know, 2020, not a lot of guys were active. And were flying around. Yeah. When will that become a factor next week? Uh, it was a factor for me. I right? think they're peaking, like, one sometime this right week. The eyeball, <laughs> oh, one got me right in the forehead. I right? had sunglasses on there, thing, but right up underneath. Yo, somewhere. they're vicious out there. Yeah. Nah, they're, they're probably – I can't imagine where they're at in other places. I don't think it's really going to affect the game quite the way you – Saying it's going to. <laughs> Someone's going to use that as an excuse to have a cicada guy. Well, I mean, yeah. That I'm is going to come up. I think uh, that's what Chris Webb was doing in that picture with Oldie Shore. Well, with the there was a cicada, cicada on the ground. He tried to crush it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't fly into the I'd post that tape. picture, but I have no idea where to find it. Um, so, yeah, D-Lee. Yeah, they didn't show up for my game either versus Elite Rebels. I was looking forward to the Battle of the Elites. Yes, um, so we have right now versus them, like I said. Yeah, you had that. Offensive struggles, but. Getting to that time of the year, Venom breaking in a new kind of offense. You got to figure it's something against a ride out defense. Yeah. That has been working very hard since Atlantic City. And it's trying to make a big move towards A bracket, which we're really excited about and looking forward to seeing how it goes. Um. Yeah, so with that skipped on that end, let me go back to my next game. Misfits Elite Rebels. This was awesome. Yeah. This was an absolute battle from start to finish. I want to go back and actually watch this one. Yeah, this that's a game I recommend. You weren't able to watch because you weren't on the field. Dude, they were right into my next game. Yeah, dude, that game was. The half times were longer than the uh, between game intermissions on my field. It happens sometimes. Yeah, I, liked it. I yeah. liked it. The only the game's get started, you're good to go. Yeah. Um, but basically, talking about the game of Misfits and League Rebels, yeah, you gotta go back and watch that one. Yeah. That was a dope from start to finish, mostly because of the talk back and forth between TJ and Lurry. There is, you know, a lot of tension with, this, with these two squads. You know, they both are gunning for that top spot in the bracket. They're both the newcomers to the area when it comes to it. Dream as well, trying to make that impact in the DMV. Right out, they're saying, hey, wait a minute. You know, we played back when there was one bracket. Why can't we step up and do the same thing? Right. You know, you take a look at what other teams are doing. No Mercy Scorpions. They're going about it the same way. They just had big success in Atlantic City. It might have turned the tide in this whole OMFL uh, battle to get to the top in the A and get to the top in the country, especially with a lot of teams coming in for Trump City Classic. Which we're about two months away. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. But this Misfits Elite Rebels game, you know, just a back and forth between Tay and TJ and the history between Holston and the, and the Misfits. Like, this was just a great game to watch on so many levels to be a part of. Um, I will tell you, it's going to be a shootout every time with these two. The defenses can't stop each other. They just can't. Like, the offense is going to be insane. And the scary part is, you take a look at it, people forget Chris Boone was not there on Sunday. Chris Boone, the starting quarterback for the Misfits, he was down in Florida, Orlando, down at North, Northeast Winter right. Park this past Sunday, winter. He at the right. AFFL seven man tournament. He's going to get a bid. He got the dub. Shout out Chris Boone and Showtime for doing yeah, that. Awesome. Out there, probably representing the four state area, also representing the OMFFL, also representing the Misfits. He's rep TBT before. 
He played on Rampage in his first OMFFL game and against the affiliate nation. He played QB for the Warriors not too long yeah, ago. Yeah, shout out to all those Showtime guys. They put in the work yeah. in the flag game, whether it be an OMFFL, County, Keystone, eight man, seven man, five man, nine man, 11 man, wherever they wanted, mm-hmm. wherever you needed. You got to give it up to those guys. They ball out and they represent everybody very well in this area. Big shout out to those guys. Right. Um, you had bowls and bad boys, I and now you know I watched that. I, I watched that OC game between those two. Thinking to myself, the gap between them is not that big. I thought that uh, was the gap rematch. was closing. I thought that yeah, was, it was a rematch from Motion City. And when I watched that game the first time, I thought to myself, "This is two teams that are not that far apart on terms of like how good one is compared to the other." Yeah. The Bulls are definitely on the bad boys level, and it's something that you know might. I called them off guard, but you know, last year the Bulls, some of those guys from the 4 1 Ravens on that team, they did almost knock off the Renegades. They did beat the Renegades in the regular season play. Mm-hmm. So, like, they definitely got their numbers some way or another. They beat them here 9 0. Yeah. Touchdown to safety. They do not not the, the not bad boy. The 9 0 that you would expect. You see 9 0. Yeah, what happened? They kicked like three field goals or something. Nope, safety and a TD. The very first points of the game was what, third quarter, I think. Yeah. And bad boys were backed up and they went to punt. And I even missed it on, on the film, but I because I was I was just waiting for the punt to go down the field to try and cover that part of it. But by the time I looked with my own eyes, the ball was going between the field goal posts. I was a back with around end zone for a safety, two points. And then the Bulls finally scored on offense in the fourth quarter and like their last drive. They put a good drive together. It was just, you know, it was not good. Bad boys got to get together over there, man. Big factor, though. Eddie wasn't there, though. He wasn't, but I don't know if the best. That should I will tell you though, Zach stepped up big time in that second yeah, game. So Zach has been an absolute. That's what I would season. do if I was them. They're missing that weapon. Eddie is a big factor in that you offense, got your but two guys, man. But it's yeah, kind of, they're, that, they're going down a, ba- a downward trend right now. Yeah. When you look at it, like AC, they really struggled, and you know they did get a little upset that Jerome Russo said they'd fall out of the top ten after AC. Jerome has been onto it so far. I think he was on to something there. Jerome saw something back in April. Bad boys, see my guys, but you gotta get together over there. But don't get me wrong, they're playing tough competition. The bad boys oh, play some of the toughest competition in the country. But does that not show you how how deep this nine man game is when you think about That's it in terms of the say, caliber too. of teams, like how the strong Bulls, it is, the, the death of it all. Player. This Bulls, Bulls team, right? Like, we got them back here in the back wall. Their nation was made was right a weeks ago. The they came out playing that yeah, game. dude, they. Every game this season, they have not cared who their opponent their is. Defense they have kept... is stout as well. Yeah, like their they... defense is left on. Yeah, those guys like believe in each other and they work together well. Oh. And you look at what they've done this season alone. Need or whatever they're running. Yeah, like you look at it like going back to the games um, throughout the year. They've competed with Rampage. They almost they should have beaten Rampage. It was twelve nothing at one point in that game. They had it in their hands. Um, you take a look at it further. You know, they should have gotten one, for instance, on uh, No Mercy. They were close in that game. They played the Elite Rebels very tough in the first game coming out. And I thought to myself, watching that game, I'm like, this Bulls team might have something here because, like, I knew Elite Rebels was going to have a great offense at the very least. But the Bulls kept up with them. And that made me think they had something going forward. And they've proven ever since that. They're not afraid of who their opponent is. Even if it's these guys here, they're ready to go against anybody. This Bulls team is hyped. They're not ready to go. They prove that OMFFL is one of, if not the strongest league in the area and competes very well up from in terms of the country. Oh, it's definitely. It's definitely yeah. Like, it's just, a, it's just a very deep league in terms of the competition right now. Uh, yes, sir. Maryland Titans. Let's talk about Misfits Titans. That was a game you had, Ross Collins. Yeah, Mr. Knee Problem. 
Yeah, it happens. The guy with the fracture fibula, the only reason he's behind the camera, and Joey's like, I got knee issues. Can we come film this game? I'm sorry, Keep Giles wasn't available. He was busy watching uh, UNR Chaos. I did. It. I like that game anyway. I was Yo, I was watching. I, I was watching in the car, and it looked like it was very it was intense. Big game. It was a big game. Yeah, like I, I gotta say, dude. A lot of bickering back and forth. Like, you need that respect. though. You need that talk. Yeah, and you saw, and that was the case in the Rebels game. So much talk, I'm dude. Man. But it was awesome. It I'm was epic. Compl- I'm not complaining. <laughs> Titans, you know me. I love. Hey, this Titans, show. bad boys as well. That was a battle back and yeah. forth. I wondered how bad boys would bounce back, That's and what they. I was gonna say the game you had. Yeah. yeah, dude. Like the games that went on like this past weekend in the league were absolutely insane. I got people in the waiting room. I am so sorry. Let me let people in. But like, let me start it out. We're gonna recap it first. Gonna get Robbie on the line. There he is right now. But yeah, that Misfits Titans game. What an insane battle it was. I, you were hyped on commentary, Coley, and I think you were feeling the intensity around that game, and it led up to the hype at the game of the week. And, yeah, and send the thing. We got another one with the Titans at the game of the week that's going to be just as big this Sunday. But first, let's get Robbie on. Robbie, welcome to the show. Glad to have you. I see Roberts. That's all I see. Might be like it's right here. It's his phone. You see me? There we go. I got him now. Uh, uh, how you doing, brother? Doing good, sir. How are you? <laughs> good, good. That that intro was cold bloody, bro. <laughs> <What? laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> bro, I just bust out laughing, man. When I saw, I was like, "Damn, Joe, you cold bloody, man." <laughs> that was a good one, though. I like it. I like it. Hey, motivation to try again next time. Right. I don't know if they're allowed back by rule or anything, but they'll, 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 they'll be any place. Josh Woods can yeah. the ball right at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be he'll be around. I mean, um, they're looking to uh they'll be in the tournament, so you'll see him. I, I won't disclose any names or anything like that, but you'll see him uh sooner oh. than later. Elite will be in the tournament. Speaking of the tournament, man, oh, man, let me pull up everything you have listed so far. I'll tell you, last week was busy, guys. It was extremely busy. I remember the news about Charm City broke about a minute after I found out that I had the details finalized for my tournament. And then I find out Albany's about to be in. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was a lot, a lot in one day. But the big story was the Charm City Classic over all of them by far. Especially when you take a look at what's going to be happening for Charm City. The team list is insane right now. The A and B bracket is looking just as strong as it did when we were there two years ago. Yeah, I mean, right now we're at, what, uh, 13 in the A, I think 18 in the B. I mean, I don't have the list in front of me right now, but uh, I mean, uh, say that again. I'm going to pull it up real quick. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's about 11, it's uh, 13 in the A, which uh, two are wait listed and one in the B that's wait listed. I know you guys are currently working on a fifth field at the moment. Um, yeah. Which, would which would be huge it would give us about 40 teams i do believe for the tournament is that correct 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 yeah i mean fortunately um you know today i I mean we had talked to you about it last week about the stadium and stuff um so fortunately ad did get back to us today and and granted us the permission to use the stadium uh so that that is the fifth field so we we got the approval for that um so we'll be able to get you know every team in so I'll, i'll take off that wait list status um, and, you know, Raul and I talked in to see what we would be um, comfortable with team rise. So we're, we're, we're hovering around the idea of 36. Um, you know, so if we can get a few more, uh, we, we'll stop at 36 just so that we don't um, run into the situation of extending the day too long or if a game goes into overtime on Sunday, like we don't want it to get stuck 
uh, you know, in the dark. So yeah, I'd rather play it, rather play it safe than than try to overload the tournament and, and get stuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I think 36 would be a good number. And being able to get that fifth stadium is clutch, especially now with that, that would allow SI and the Gladiators and Southside in and much more um, potentially because there's a lot of teams on this list. Let's go over to one's end so far. A bracket. We all all know Elite Rebels. Uh, We know the Misfits. Uh, OTF. Is this the eight man, five man OTF that I'm seeing? Is this who this is by any chance? Yeah, yeah I believe it's an eight man team. Um, the gentleman that messaged us, I think, is DQ Lamb. Um, um, so he he runs that team or or is one of the coordinators of that team. So yeah, I believe it's an eight man team from from Virginia. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm kind of curious to see what they bring out because like. I believe we've got a glimpse of OTF's eight-man team in other tournaments, but it's hard to really evaluate based on that style how they perform as a nine-man team. Right. I mean, yeah, Empire did it last week, like like Ross is saying. I mean, um, I mean, if you look at, at the eight-man contact, they basically block with three. It's just one less receiver, you know, for most teams. Um, I mean, the biggest transition, in my opinion, is the pass rush is a little stronger in nine-man compared to eight-man. Because most people send three in an eight man, they only send two, and you have three blocking two. But in nine man, you have three or four. So I think it's a slight change of the game. Um, the one, like after watching five man and a little bit of eight man, like I went to uh, Richmond, um, and like just seeing the game and watching like uh, Otis and them play eight man, those guys are fast as hell, man. Like they're fast, they're, they're quick, they're shifty. So I, I think that brings a little. You know, it gives them a different dynamic because they're so used to playing fast already. Um, you know, going in the A, though, you just got to wonder, can their line hold up on both sides of the ball? That's what I'm wondering as well, especially looking at the rest of the competition. Uh, no Mercy Scorpions fresh off that uh, semifinal finish. Um, they pulled with it. They were already, they already lost by a score to main event. They stayed in that game to the very end. They did not give up about a fight. Um, definitely right. become a lot more ready in this tournament. Uh, Baez Auto, they're coming to A for the first time, I believe, in this tournament. Um, mm-hmm. so I'm looking forward to seeing like if what they bring out, you know, yeah. especially because York is going to be a little dilapidated in this tournament for the talent. I see already three different York teams on this list between them, 717 Elite and Gusto Land, who. Both of them, 717, they've been playing around for a bit. They just played East Coast Nationals. They were at DMV Nitro. I saw them a week later at a YAF Hanover tournament. They've been getting around trying to play so many different styles. It's insane. And that's kind of been the new trend right now for many different teams is try out different new styles, see how you like it, see how you play it, see what you can learn from it, and apply it to your skill, apply it to your game. And I'm looking forward to seeing like how some of these teams like OTF and 717 come out for this tournament. And seeing Baez jump to A is a huge deal. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how they make that transition, especially considering their success so far in B. They may not have a B championship yet, but they're always there come day two. Uh, yeah, they're big, they're they're a consistent contender. I mean, yeah, I think Ocean City, where they were in the championship game. Um, I mean, usually they finish, you know, in the final four somewhere at minimum elite eight. Um, but they're always right there at the finish line pushing to the end. So um, and I'm sure they, they probably, you know, got some guys that they're gonna load up for to play in the A. That's what I was gonna say. They're a very good Sunday team. Yeah. That's a good thing to be. <laughs> yeah. And that, and they're always in the thick of things too. Like I believe they've been a quarter finalist in no, almost every tournament. Not, not good on Saturday. They're they're good when it means to be, man. They play play well all weekend. That's a team that balls out when needed the most. Um, we'll see how they transition to A. They take a look at it, ride out. They're fresh coming off that performance in AC where their defense they gave up no points until the very end. Um. That was an A-caliber defense they had in AC. 
I'm looking forward to seeing if they can make that transition to play at A. And you look at it with the rest of A, you got Dream, who's been there already, but they're looking forward to their first win still. FOE making a jump. FOE, not where they were a year ago when I saw them in Owens Mills. Like, this is a vastly different team than I watched play your Venom squad back in the playoffs last season or in general in OMFFL. They've been very much improved. You had a chance to play against them in the tournament, I believe, Ocean City. Uh, yeah. Your impressions of how FOE has grown? I mean, I, I will say they're playing. I mean, granted, in, in Ocean City, we only had 13 players. But, you know, not taking anything away from, from FOE. Right, like, they're right. balls. They, they're more – they from compared to when we played them in the playoffs, their front is better on the defensive line. Like, they, they rushed four against us in Ocean City. Um, they were fast, physical. They flew to the ball. Um, the biggest difference, I, I believe, is is just they communicated a lot better. Like, they talk – like, you could hear them talking. Like, if it was a pass, like, they're running. Everybody's rallying to the ball. If it was a run, you know, the D-line screaming, you know, run, and then the linebackers were shooting down. Um, so, I mean, the improvement I saw was was just the simple, like, communication. Uh, just the energy level was different. Um, I mean, and the, and the quarterback just took his time, and and he saw the field well. So, you know, like they say, sometimes it takes a season or two for the game to slow down to you. And I feel like um, with them, the game is slowing down a little bit, and, and they're finding their groove. Yeah, I 100% agree. They are definitely hitting the stride right now and playing some of their best ball I've seen yet. Looking forward to seeing how they do in the A bracket, especially when you consider – and I was looking at the A list and wondering, like, wow, so many DMV teams just jumping right in and ready to go. And when do we hear from the North? When do they decide to put their guys in? And then we had it. Rollers came in first. Rollers. Kind of wondering, what is the Rollers after no, AC? Like, what is the Rollers? Oh, so, only time will tell, man. You know, you, you don't, like, I mean, that's even, like, with, with Johnny. I'm glad he reached out. I mean, like, much respect to Johnny. The first tournament, man, he called us. He had me and Rell on the three-way, and we we talked for damn near two hours. And, um, you know, he was a big supporter. He was the, the first up north team to, to register for the tournament. Um, so, you know, it's always going to be love, love, and respect with Johnny. Um, and I'm just glad that he was able to put a team in, man. Um, like I said, he's the original, uh, you know, everybody talks about the North. Like he was the, the original team to, to get input to this tournament. He was like one of the first to say he was coming. So, you know, much respect to him. Um, but, you know, I mean, and then you got the Bulldogs. They, they, uh, Chris said he was out of town. He, you know, had been behind. So. Um, they're coming to defend their championship, man. They they back to back. You know they they've won it every year, so they're coming to collect the check. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you had to wonder when were they coming to get that championship? When do they want to repeat? They're ready to go, and you look at it as well. Main event, they're going to be back in it. Looking forward to it. They've been back to back years, I believe. They lost a strong honor to the H.M. Is that good? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm mean, because the first year, oh, let me think. Let me the first year was seven point. I believe it was seven point beat the Scorpions in the championship. The first year, the very first year. And then after that, yeah, the Do Bulldogs won the next two years. And it was, yeah, it was Bulldogs main event. Last year for sure, I know it was Bulldogs main event. Or two years ago, shall I say. Uh the year before that, I think it was the same. Both years of Bulldogs main event. Crazy to think, like, we could possibly see it for a third consecutive tournament. And it's crazy to think, like, where both teams are right now at the level they're playing at, especially at the race team. Uh, Punisher as well. Really happy to hear their, them back. Um, yeah. This, this, to me, like, brings a lot to the table for the area in the league. Um, no other tournament in the DMV is able to be as big as the Charm City Classic. And I've been telling guys in the Forest State, this is the biggest tournament you're going to see all year in this area by far. Yeah. This is yeah, what the competition is going to be. Yeah, I mean, we're greatly appreciative of, of the support. And, you know, with us, it's, it's all about the teams and the players. I mean, we can't do anything without the teams and the players. So all we try to do is just facilitate and provide a quality product, provide, provide quality fields and make sure you have 
food to eat, you know, drinks to drink, and you're comfortable while you're here with us. So, um, you know, without the teams, we can't do nothing. You know, so we provide, we try to do our best to facilitate and, and make sure we provide a quality space for everybody to play. Um, and like I said, we're just grateful for the opportunity. I mean, it was a lot of bumps in the road to start, but, you know, like when you have vision and when you have faith, man, you keep pushing. Um, you know, Chris uh, Severino said in a message to us one time, like, just build it and it'll grow, you know, build it and it'll come. So we uh, we just stuck by that, man, and we just keep pushing, like, you know, regardless of whatever obstacles come our way. Um, you know, you look at last season, like, where we were dealing with COVID and they, they, they uh, Parks and Recs came and took our permits in, like, the middle of the season, and we had to fight through that, and we were able to find fields to transition to, and we're able to finish the season. So, you know, obstacles are always going to come, but but we'll keep pushing through. You guys have done a great job doing so. Amazing how this tournament has grown. I remember I first heard about it after AFN won back in 2017. That was the big story coming back home here in Hagerstown for Washington yeah. County that season was AFN winning that tournament and making this yeah. statement. And that was when we first started all this, the live stream shows and everything else. Crazy to see how everything has grown. TBT and OMFFL the last four years alone. Yeah, man. Nine man as a whole is just it's getting bigger and better. Like you get into, like you said, teams trying different styles and, you know, new teams popping up. So, you know, just when you think it, it's going, you know, the, it's basically flatlining in a sense. Here goes, you know, three more new teams. You know what I mean? So long yeah. as uh, Jamie, yeah. Jamie keeps doing what he's doing and, and providing these quality events and, and networking and doing the different styles. I mean, he does a great job. And, you know, with Chris helping with um, the AFFL now, like you have these nine man guys that can introduce these seven, seven and five and eight man guys to nine man, which will in turn help our, our style grow. There definitely is that potential. You know, I went down to Nationals this year. I had a couple eight-man guys ask me about nine-man. Yeah. One even asked me, like, why don't we have the media you guys do? Why don't we have this kind of players you guys do at times? And I say, because a lot of it is, I think. Nine-man over everything. Yeah, facts, yeah. facts. But the biggest thing is, like, the growth of the sport itself. Like, I think you only know what the first thing you see is. Yeah. You know, I was lucky to be born in an area where there is nine-man flag football. If you go in a lot of different states, if you were born in Montana, you wouldn't know what flag football was because there's no flag football leagues in that state. Mm -hmm. It's all, and yeah. you know, the benefit that we have an area that's so invested in the sport that's going back for a very long time. Even when I was a kid, back when they used to have Maryland states, and you go back to the old Baltimore league and everything else, the roots of the DMV, black football and the growth of it over the last several years. And you got to say, like, it is definitely a proud tradition in this area. And I'm happy to see it come full circle and grow the way it has. I think Charm City will be once again a crowning moment for the year for it. Definitely, definitely. Like I said, we, we definitely – are looking forward to it, man. Like the, the planning's been, we started planning in May. Once they, once they gave us the approval, you know, to get the field and until January, we were like, all right, we're locked in. Let's make it happen. Um, so, you know, we're already planning. We're working on the hotels now. Uh, we're Terrell is working on the hotels now. So we'll have all that stuff posted hopefully in the next day or two. Um, we're looking at uh, getting booking rooms at live casino. Uh, we're looking at MGM. We're looking at, um, you know, we're all over. We have a couple local ones in White Marsh, um, downtown. So we, we're going to try to find the best deals and we're going to have them in a wide variety of places. Um, for those who have never been to Baltimore, like, you know, when we say live casino, that's like 40 minutes away, but it's a straight shot around the Beltway. Um, you know, you got a nice nightlife at National Harbor, nice restaurants and things like that. So, um you know, it's close enough. It's far enough, but it's close enough, if that makes sense. And you're right on 95. So, uh, you know, you get a wider variety of places that you can pick from. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to seeing this 
event play out like from start to finish, especially the festivities and cultures of Baltimore. Um, take a look at the B bracket as well. We mentioned 717 Elite. Black Hawks are coming up from Maple to play. Um, looking forward to seeing them up here, a long time veteran team in the area. Rampage, they're going to be in B right now. I was hoping to see them in A, but choices, man. I'd like to see how they do, though. They're definitely going to be a favorite in that division no matter what. Um, Burrow Bullies, uh, they were just in the XFFL, or not XFL, AFFL tournament. I think that was a team that got disqualified for any little players. So hopefully they get that sorted out this time. Um, don't want to see that. Don't add people. Don't add it, just anybody. Make sure they did not play. That's some, that's the lesson of that. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that's the same team. There's like one more. Maryland Titans, we know the Titans, your Venom. Hopefully we can get the West Virginia Venom to jump into. Maybe y'all can verge be one big giant Venom team. <laughs> I'll have to see it. Yeah, I have to watch more of them play. I watched a little bit of your live feed uh, from the playoffs the other day. Their defense was pretty sick on Saturday. They, they held Tay and Lurie and them to seven in that game. Right. Like they played them very well. Like they definitely have some really good edge rushers. Like that D line plays very well. Right. Bulls. Um, they've been playing. I gotta give Bulls credit. They're a team that we didn't know what to expect out of them, but they have came out and played extreme. Yeah, like they play extremely good defense and they have competed with almost every single team they faced so far. Like, they've been the surprise team for me and I've been failed this season. Wasn't mm -hmm. sure what to expect out of them, but I like what I see so far. Um, bad boys, uh, we'll have more of them in a little bit. AFN, um, you know, they played A last time in Charm City. Um, we were there for that. We actually got to see the number one A team and number one B team face off in Charm City. I had a pretty big moment on that Saturday. Um, tough tournament for them last go around, but they won back in 2017. Trying to get another chip here. Riot Squad, they've been a team that's definitely shown they could play. We know all about them. Gusto Land, they're back in the fold. Looking forward to seeing what they have. It's been a while since we've seen Gusto Land. Last time we saw him in Nightman, I think, was that clash in York tournament against Baez, where Baez got that score at the end, and that was it. We thought maybe Gusto's done, but here they are, ready to go. Chat more last week on key, on uh, the extra yard said they're hyped and ready to go. I'm looking forward to seeing them back on the field. Tri-State Spartans from our area, really happy to hear them back in a tournament. I really think that'd be good for them. Ready to see that come to uh, fold. DX is uh, DX the answer to NWO on the circuit. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Real took that reservation, so I, I gotta figure out who that is. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Dirty Birds, we saw them at OC and AC. They're a very good defensive team. Like, they played Rampage very close every single time they played them in the tournament play so far. So, like, they're a squad that if you draw them, do your research quick because they can be easily slept on. Um, Rebels, that's Israel's team, Israel Veloda. Uh, Big is out there of course, seeing his squad. Israel's my guy. Um, who else do we got in there? We got the boys from the Bay. Who are the boys from the Bay, and what Bay are we talking about? A Green Bay, a Tampa uh, Bay. <laughs> so that's a, it's a Jersey team. So they're from um, Bayonne, New Jersey. Um, I believe they were eight. Uh, the Germans say they're eight man. They were. Hold on, I'm sorry. Look at the message. Is this going to work? Eight you can still hear me, right? Can you still hear me, Joey? Yeah, I can still hear you. Yeah, so they are. I'm just telling you, I'm going to look back at the message. Sorry. So they're from Bayonne, New Jersey. Uh, he's the Darrell Lamont. So he said they play, he played, he's played on various teams, but he wanted to put his own team in this time. Um, he plays, you know, he's played semi pro. He's played, you know, all styles of flag football. So, but th this is his first time putting his own team in a nine-man tournament. Okay. 
I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. Like, that's the one thing I like about tournaments is that you never know who, what team's going to pop up. Like, mm-hmm. we forget that not a lot of people in the area that plays flag football plays flag football. Like, right. don't get me wrong, the DMV, we do have a lot of nine-man players. But how many players just could play the sport but don't know they could play it? Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I feel like with between the like nine man and the other style, sometimes I feel like you'll have a. I hate to say it, but I feel like a lot of guys like to play those other styles because they want to be the guy and they want to be dominant. And when you come to nine man, it's it's more of a level playing field because you actually have, you know, good corners. You have good scheme, and like I, I'll go out and watch some of the eight man stuff, and it's like these nine man guys um, that play eight man like. Or seven men, you know, a lot of the times they they turn up, you know, they do a good job, and then when they transition over, they may get, they may just be a middle of the pack guy, you know what I mean? So I feel like some of those guys won't transition to nine man because of how competitive it is. Because and a lot of the guys in seven and eight man don't like the contact, you know, not the guys that we know, but like you know, just in local leagues around, and um, even you know down in in some of these tournaments, like they you touch them one time and they're just not used to it. You know, I've gotten plenty of I got plenty of penalties playing seven and five man from trying to jam, and it, I keep forgetting it's non contact. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just different, and like everybody, there's that, always that debate about non contact players and contact players. Could one do the other, vice versa? In my opinion, I think both are very much capable of doing either or. It's just a matter of preference on how you want to play it, whether the argument from non-contact side being, you know, you want to boil it down to actual 1v1 skill in terms of being able to keep up with route running and everything else. Whereas in contact, you make it that you go one-on-one play for the ball like you would any other style of football. Um, I got no objections one or the other, but I'm more – I'll stick with the nine, man. Contact. And I feel like that's going to be a test for a lot of those players. But I've seen a lot of non-contact players come out and ball. Saw that hit yeah. Corey Dub laid on TJ Holston a few weeks ago in AC. <laughs> like those non-contact guys, don't talk too much smack to them. They might, they might go at you. They might be ready. Yeah, to I mean, they might ball as a Right. Some of them will, and some of them won't. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's just the game. I mean, even it's guys at nine man that don't like contact. You know. But I feel like, you know, line, nine man, you could have a slow linebacker and just puts his paws on you and could take you out to play. You know what I mean? Like, it's just – that's why I like watching. I mean, you just you just watch guys bully people. I mean, a lot of us will. You know what I mean? Even on the D-line, you got these small DNs. I mean, you look at Randy for Rampage. Man. He's like the smallest guy on the field, but that motor and that heart and that, and that fire, like he's going to put his hands on you, he's going to go. He's gonna fight every play against the biggest D lineman. I mean, the offensive lineman. Like he doesn't. It doesn't matter. So, a lot of it's just, you know, just desire in a sense. Yeah, facts. Absolute facts. Yeah. And finishing off the rest of the teams on the list, Nomads. We got a chance to see them back at AC. Got upset by Empire in the quarters. Um, looking forward to see how they come out in Charm City. And then the last team is Southside. They're out of Maple. Um, I haven't had a chance to actually watch Southside yet. I hear them of a local team. Um, haven't really caught much of them, so hopefully we'll get a chance to take a look at them um, come Charm City. But overall, I'm loving the team list. This tournament is going to be great. Yes, sir, definitely, man. We're looking forward to it. Like I said, man, without the teams, we couldn't do anything. Um, and, you know, we got a nice variety. Uh yeah, like, you know, and we got a lot of new teams. I mean, this year we look at the, you look at that list, like, I mean, I think we got seven teams that haven't played in it yet. So, you know, that's big to us. And and it's just something to look forward to, you know, more excitement, uh, less familiarity. So it just makes it even more of a, uh, you know, more competitive because you don't know the guys. You got to try to figure them out. So hopefully it'll just be like a, you know, a nice boxing match in a sense. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking forward to seeing the most is how every side's going to measure up when everyone faces off at the Charm City Classic. We're looking forward to it. August 7th and 8th. We'll be there live at the field, 
looking forward to it. This is going to be yes, awesome. Sir. Uh, we're going to have a week's worth of coverage leading up. We're going to – we're going all out. Like, this is it. Like, to me, this is the tournament for everyone. Like, this yes, is what Nine Man is all about. Like, if you – everybody would talk about this whole idea of a Midsummer National. This is your Midsummer National right here. Yeah, I agree, man. I mean, and like I said, I mean, if we can – if we could get 60 teams, I would love to have everybody here. But you know what I mean? But uh, like with what we got, man, you'll get a good fight. You'll get a uh, – sorry, I had a call coming in. You'll, you'll just get a good balance of football. And then like, I mean, you know, if we look at – if you look at our league and then you look at what's coming, I mean, our whole league is in it, you know, basically. And, and for us, you know, we love the fact that each week we get um, almost like a tournament play. Like each Sunday for us, with those two games every Sunday is almost like pool play on Saturday at any other tournament. I mean, you got misfits who've been competing in the A, elite who's been competing in elite rebels who've been competing in the A, um, ride out, you know, who's been to, they won it here last year. They won our tournament last year. And then they just went to the championship in Atlantic city. You got rampage who, you know, just won ocean city and has been the multiple champ B championships. Um, then you got, you know, bad boys who made a, you know, it was basically the Renegades who made a run at, at Nationals. So, I mean, like, if you look at the teams top to bottom, you have a team that's been in the Final Four or championship at, at every, you know, pretty much every level. You know, mine is the Bulls, who's a new team. The Titans have been around for years. And then you add a veteran quarterback like Doc. Um, so it's just like, you know, I mean, each week for us is just it's a grind. And I think that's why, you know, most of the teams, if you look at it historically, you know, the final four, you're going to find an OMFFL team in it. Absolutely, man. Like, we go back to tournaments looking over. I'm trying – and I'm going back as far as my memory can go on this. Since 2019 alone, tournament championship appearance, it's known at Mattel, Rampage, Virginia Beach, runner-up. You look at it, Renegades, Charles City, runner-up at B. Over at the next tournament, Rampage won Clash in York at that 19th year. Then down at Maffle Country, down at uh, Capital Classic, A and B, that was Rampage and Scorpions. Both came down, represented the league, took A and B in that one. Scorpions, B national champions um, at Worlds. Uh, Renegades, winner of Clash in York 2. Over Aftermath, another OMFFL team in the championship. Um, both Rampage and Renegades got to the semis and the B at Nationals this year. Um, you look at how the Elite Rebels and the Misfits and the No Mercy Scorpions have made the jump in the A. Now Rideout's looking to do the same thing. Um, OMFFL, it's crazy to think. I looked at the standings earlier. Bad Boys are in eighth place. Yeah, man. And that, like, it, that's it, how deep it is to this league. Right. Like, you would never think A for a team that was projected to be an A squad at the beginning of the year. That's how tough the competition is. You can't sleep on anybody. That right. A stuff is at the window. Here. Yeah, man. And, and like if you look at the, the the margin, like the you know the victory margin, it's like you know it's close. You know what I mean? You got you know. An extra point here or two points there or one touchdown here. It's not like te teams aren't getting blown out. Every game's coming down to the fourth quarter. Um, I mean, you, I mean, each week, you know, I, I got to look back at it, but I, I don't think we've, you know, minus elite, I don't think we've had any, any blowout. You know, I think everything has been down to the wire or, you know, a score away um, pretty much every, every game. So it, it's fun to watch. I mean, I sat out there Sunday, man, I was just like, Watching that Misfits Titans game, that was a dog fight. Like the week before that, um, well, not well, a couple of weeks before that, because we've been off for a while. Um, I think it was, I can't remember, it was Scorpions versus somebody, but it's like each week is just like, it's, it's a, it's just a lot of excitement, man, and we love it. I love it too, dude. Like this is, this is great football. Like, you know, at, <laughs> Everybody that's currently playing is a legitimate squad, 100%. Mm -hmm. There's no ringers in this league that are there just to get blown out every single week. 
the, right. it is competitive. The gap between first place and ninth place is not big. Yeah. This is a league with a lot of parity. Every single uh -huh. game and every single team is different every single week. And every single week, the LMFFL brings out the best in nine-man football. Yeah, man, I'm going to have to get uh, Boast on the phone, man. I was talking to Ro last week. I was like, you know, it would be fun. Because, I mean, I know they have the tourney league. And, I mean, it would be – it is, you know, next to impossible to try to commit to something like that because you're talking about going to Connecticut and stuff like that. But I would love – you know, maybe we got to make this happen. You know, Boast is on. We could, we could talk anytime. Um, since, you know, he seems to be the, the rep up there, but um, let's set up a civil war, man. You know, let's set up an OMFFL versus GCFFA league rosters only. You can't pick up anybody else. You got to take the league roster, the roster that's on their website, right. and that's all you can bring. Right. And you you find a location. You can make it a two-day event where we could do like a two-weekend event. We come up north one weekend. They come down south one weekend. Something fun like that, man. I just, I mean, we got to figure out ways to make this happen. But I, I feel like that would be a blast. Um, the, top, the toughest competition is up there. And, um, you know, I, I mean, we ain't nobody ducking no wreck, as they say. So I, I, it would be fun, man, to do something crazy like that. And um, if we could figure out a way to make it happen, map it out logistically, um, you know, what's up with the fall, you know, or before nationals, maybe like if we could find some turf fields. I know people don't like playing in the cold, but. I feel like it's something we can we can make happen, and I think you know it would be a beautiful event. I think that would be an awesome event, and honestly, I say why don't anybody in Pennsylvania? Let's go in between. Let's oh, let's go in between. <laughs> Meet halfway. Pennsylvania right. is that land that no one really knows when it comes to diving. XFFL has got teams up north of that potential, but down south, YAFFL and KFFL, they're doing their thing. I'm mm -hmm. throwing it out there to anybody. If anybody would want to host that PA, make it happen because right. I think that would be the best place to have a GCFFA versus LFFL battle right in the country that is unclaimed territory for both sides. Right. I'm with it, man. Like I said, we, we got to set it up, man. This, this is just an idea right now, but I'm putting it in the atmosphere and, uh, you know, let's see what can happen, man. It'd be fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's make it happen. OMFFL versus GCFFA and PA. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But yeah, I mean, you got anything else for me, though, man? You're going to make me throw all my ideas out. I'm going to have to shut up now, man. I'm like, I might uh, get, get fired. <laughs> I might get a, a, a text from the commissioner like you're talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so elites out is playoff format staying the same for June 27th. Um, we'll discuss it. I mean, I know we had talked about it in the in the captain's chat about just doing an eight nine play in game. Um, you know, as we do with anything, any decision we make, we we put it to the captain. And we discuss it prior to making any decision. So we'll put that out there. And if they want to do the eight, nine play in, that's how we'll play it. Um, if not, then it would just be the top eight. So um, we'll discuss that in the captain's chat and, you know, go with the majority vote and, and play it like that. Um, I mean, to me, with the balance of the league, you know, each game is a score away. So, I mean, you know, in years past, we've always done everybody makes it. But. Again, whatever the group decides is what we'll go with. Okay, okay. Um, Sunday, we have three games now on each. So that's settled. The elite games, are they going to be counted as forfeit wins for all teams the rest of the way? Yeah, so it'll, it'll be forfeit wins. Um, it'll be 18 nothing as a score. Um, you know, three scores, so 18 nothing um, as far as the uh, points for each team. Um, and then we'll go back. I mean, I, so we'll figure that the second part out, which is, you know, how do you play it for the teams that already played them? And maybe they put up a lot more points against them. You know what I mean? Because you don't give a team, you know, like Titans put up 30 something against, them. you know, who's to say Misfits wouldn't have put up 50 again. You know what I mean? So we got to 
figure out, you know, I'll look back and maybe. I think Chris Boone should play against the league's defense. That's not nice. That's not nice. <laughs> I mean, any of them. I mean, you put you put Lurry back there, it's going to be a problem. So, um, if, at you some know, point, so, I do expect them to run like a three quarterback system of Boone, Say, and Lurry. That's coming. Right. So, yeah. So, going, heading out, it'll be, um, you know, forfeits for the for those teams who haven't played them yet. Um, you know, it it sucks because you know, of course, you want to play those games, but uh, you know, life happens. So, um, you know, hopefully, going forward, if, if Josh decides to come back in league ball, you know, prior to coming back, he would have to show us a full roster. Um, you know, at the end of the day, stuff happens, but you 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 know, you want to give people a second chance. So, if he came back to us in the fall, and wanted to make something work, if he can guarantee he has a team. Uh, maybe pay a forfeit fee up front, you know what I mean? Something like that, because you got to find that balance and regain that trust, you know, for us, because we don't, we don't, you know, forfeits make it hard, you know what I mean? But it's a part of the game. We've had it happen before. Um, I think Wolfpack folded their second season. So it's, it's not something that hasn't happened. Um, it's happened in every league. So um, it's just an unfortunate part of it. And uh, there are no addresses. We've been there before, twice on our, twice on my end. Right. Sometimes wow. you just don't finish, and uh, it's unfortunate. I would give him a clipboard and an attendance sheet for every single one of them with check marks next to their name each passing week. Right, right. So, man, I, I'm still laughing at that video. That was hilarious. <laughs> that intro, man. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You, you got to run that back. <laughs> but, um, um, man, no, but, uh, I never got to yeah. do it game either. That's the sad part. It was all you, Ross. Yeah, thank right. you. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess you didn't miss much, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, but now, I man, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Um, I mean, it's it's shit. If you look at it, hey, prop, what's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you look at the uh, the the finish to the season, it, it's going to be completely different. But as far as like you know, seeing the top three, because historically you got Rampage at. I mean, yeah, Rich, you're. You're looking at Rampage Scorpions at one and two. Um, I mean, in this year, you know, Scorpions will, you know, probably be like the four seed, which is it's just different to see. <laughs> However, with the Scorpions, my man Proc told me, you beat me once, you ain't beating me again. So, um, <laughs> you know what they do come playoff time. So I, 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 I'm, I'll never, ever count them out. So um, Smart look man, forward to smart man. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how they finish the season. You know, they're doing a lot of running up and down the beltway, burning a lot of gas, uh, wasting a lot of gas money. But um, I look forward to seeing them potentially winning both leagues. They might have two trophies this year. So, um, Rob, you, you're doing a lot of talking. Uh, you know we see y'all Sunday, right? It is what it is. We got to play the game regardless. <laughs> got that right. You got that right. <laughs> I want y'all to – is this the last week of the regular season? Yes, sir. You may want to go in there with some good positive vibes then. I, I will all day. I, Talk like, I to pray me before nice. I come to the field. Talk to me <laughs> nice. Hey, what kind of car you drive? What you say? <laughs> I, I drive a Yugo. Oh, all right. All right. Four, <laughs> four, four flat. Four flat. Nah. Uh, I drive but, a Ford Pinto. All right. You know, those caught on fire back in the day. Exactly. <laughs> but um, nah, man, I'm looking forward to watching y'all, man. I, I miss seeing y'all every week, hanging out all day, sitting on the hill with your, with your tents and your cigars. It's, de it's definitely different this year, man, for real. It's definitely yeah. different. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but like I said, I, I look forward to watching. Every time I see y'all play, man, I, I like watching y'all ball. And then just with the Misfits and Elite Rebels being up here, making it even, even funner to watch yeah. because you got new competition. and It's not the – it's something unfamiliar. You know what I mean? Man, it's new, it's man yeah. Man, y'all doing y'all doing y'all thing with on FFL, man, for real. Like, Thank like the competition, man. like even with Doc going over to the Titans. I mean, look at what they've been doing. You know, that, right. that was that was key. You know, everybody's playing. You know, you can't look at it based off of what happened last year or even in 2019. You gotta right. look at everything like now, because everything is like everybody is has stepped their game up, whether they added pieces or or just just got that got better. Right, you know, right. Now I agree. I mean, if you look at, like, I was I was talking to somebody the other day. I was like, if you look at just the transition from last season to this season, 
it's like we went from I mean, in my opinion, we went from a B minus to like an A minus in a sense. Yeah. Because yeah, just yeah. with you know, with Misfits coming out, with Rado coming up, with uh, you know, Elite Rebels oh, coming definitely. up, like yeah, I mean, we just we just took it a bump up. I mean, even last season the, the playing field was pretty balanced. But this year, if you look at it, I mean, you got bad boys at, at two and four right now. Like, that's not something you would right. expect. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just looking at it like you, know, you guys, you know what I mean? I know y'all were going through. Oh, hell, we two, two, and two. I mean. Right. Yeah, like, <laughs> not something you would expect. Then you see the Titans, at, damn, they're basically the one seed at, right. at seven and one. You know what I mean? And so it, it, it's, I mean, I look and I'm like, damn, like. It's crazy, like just looking at it, and then the scores. It's like one score games or mm-hmm. extra point game. So you know, I definitely think we took that notch. And like I always say, it's, it's the teams, man. Y'all do it. Exactly. That, like you know, fortunately we got you guys up here, and everybody wants the Scorpion King. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, mean, I appreciate just, that. Yeah, it's yeah, fun, man. Yeah, we just we just now starting to click, gel together as a team. It's about to be some problems, man. Like, like I said, it, it took a while for the gorilla glue to, to, to take, to take right. uh, adhesiveness, but whoo, it's, it's going about now. To be a problem. <laughs> it's about to be I a problem. I mean, it's gonna be look, and like I look, me and Ro was messing around with the brackets, and just the potential of the matchups is crazy. Like just the fact, I mean, y'all kind of like. I ain't gonna say mess everything up, but with y'all being where y'all are, yeah, exactly. It just like it makes exactly. it interesting. Nobody want to play us. Right. Nobody going to play us. Yeah, because usually y'all at that one spot, and right. then it's like, you know, whoever come out that, that play-in game sees y'all, that's y'all little warm-up game, and then y'all roll through it. But now you're in a position where, though, y'all going to y'all gonna come out swinging. I mean, regardless. Yeah, we got to. Do, but, yeah, so, okay. I mean, if y'all listen, hypothetically, y'all finish at four. Now you you running against, you know, bad boys or, you know, a young, <laughs> hungry, bold <laughs> team. You no, know, no. Oh my man! <laughs> but it's gonna be interesting. You gonna have you know then you got Misfits probably sitting at the three seed or the two seed, depending on what Rampage do. So it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can't say it, man. This. Oh, uh, answer this question or oh, Elite? Are they done? Right? Yeah. They. You know, two forfeits put you out. So okay. All right. All right. So good. So yeah. we ain't got to worry about that now, man. Just just looking at that. I mean, just look at the league, man. Yeah. Like, you can't really say that there's really no slouches. I mean, minus all the records, if you just look at the names. Right. There's really no slouches other than, you know, and, and you got to take off elite. Right. It's like anybody can be got any yeah. given Sunday. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I say, man. It's going to be, I mean, looking at this, it's, it's going to be a nice finish. I mean, you guys, y'all got two now because the elite not in. So y'all just play us and. We y'all got the Bulls? Nah, yeah, we got bad boys. Oh, bad boys. That's some bad boys. Yeah, and then we So it's going to be a nice little finish, nice little last week. Yeah. These so, potential okay. matchups look very interesting. Rampage, bad boys, Titans, Bulls, Misfits, Ride Out, Rebel Scorpions. This is a playoff opening round tournament. Yeah, I think it's it's gonna be a couple flips. I I this is my prediction personally, right? I'm I'm taking Titans as the one seed. Okay. I I think, I mean, I don't know what's up with Chris. I mean, I just heard you know whiffs that you know he may not play this week, but I I don't know. But um, Steve Winter are gonna if, go out again in one minute. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. I mean, but if if that's the case. Yeah. I mean, Rampage is – they can fight to, you know, they're going to fight to the finish regardless. Um, but I, I, I could see – I could see the Titans taking that one seed. Okay. And Misfits, Misfits potentially jump into that two. So, I think it's either going – I think it's either going to be Titans, Misfits, Rampage, or Titans, Rampage, Misfits, my thoughts. Because, I mean, you guys can't catch them just because of the two ties. Not that it matters to you. No. <laughs> Hey. But I'm I'm gonna let y'all talk, Joey. I'm gonna get off, go finish watching this movie with the kids, and uh, let y'all go <laughs> at it. I, I burned my time up. <laughs> All right, Rob. All right. We'll All right, have see a good you. night. Sir. All right, Rob. All right, All right Rob.
All right, look. This Rampage jersey, though. You just got. You just gotta love that Rampage jersey. Steve nah, looks smooth as shit in that picture. Man, they, they need to. They need to trash that shit, burn it up, put it back on, then burn that <laughs> shit up again. <laughs> that shit is. Woo. Hey, hey, Steve, you look smooth as shit in that picture, though, man. He does, oh. man. The shades and the haircut, and like. Yo, cool as shit. And then he's got, like, the jersey of, like, the image of that uh, gorilla from that movie, like, from, like, what, three years ago? Because that's what Rampage is now, is, like, they're that, they're, that's their mascot, I guess. Yeah, the motherfucker, the monkey nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the, <monkey>. <laughs> the gorilla. He said he ain't even giving him the gorilla status. He's like, no, nah, it's a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big ass black monkey right now. <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm ready for the playoffs, though. That shit gonna be live, dog. Oh yeah. That shit's gonna be live. The real shit. I think I think I think y'all was a uh, sandbag, man. No mercy. Y'all know what the fuck y'all was doing. <laughs> now, hey, hey, for real. No, I gotta keep it a buck, man. Hey, look, and this is, hey, and you know we we hit that bottle after. Yeah, you know I mean, yo, it, <laughs> it, it took us some time to gel, man. For real. And seriously, like even Joy, he 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 basically shitted on us like we were gonna lose every game in AC. <laughs> and yeah, that's why his ass laughing. And when we just came out there. And you know, we it was like, yo, now we starting to gel. And and people starting to see that. It's like, oh shit, okay, they really coming out to play. Like people starting to understand each other's tendencies. Yeah. And we knew it. Like, see, so like, you know, how like y'all came together with the misfits, y'all were playing in all kinds of leagues, Saturday, Sunday, and y'all kept it going. Even yeah, through, yeah. you know, even throughout COVID. So y'all still had a rapport with one another, y'all still knew how each other function, whereas we were just, all right, you know, we kind of putting these pieces to the puzzle together. And it just took us a little while longer for that shit to gel. Now, it's starting to come together at the right time, at the right time. Yeah, we yeah. may not have won AC. I mean, but like Joey said earlier, though, we were definitely in it. We gave made it uh, a run for their money. And actually, you know, I kind of blame I, I, shit. I blame myself. I mean, shit. We was in the red zone three times, only scored once. Only scored hey, once. Like that. Brush. Like we should have won. Yeah, y'all had y'all had a great showing out out of Atlantic City, man. Y'all y'all turned that shit on, and and don't get me wrong, we all want to win, but say you took a you, you took a L to the fucking one of the, the top dog. You know what I, I mean? mean? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And think about it. Look, we we homegrown teams, man. Them niggas, right? They yeah, got yeah, payrolls yeah, yeah. and shit. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We, we we not paying no niggas. Look, you come over here, you can drink with us, nigga. That's right, about right, it. right, right. Yeah, we not fuck no. You don't get no paycheck over this shit, nigga. <laughs> Fast. Yes, yes. Nah, y'all y'all was balling. Y'all was balling out though. But it, it I, I like the fact that now you know we got we got a lot more representatives in the A. Yeah. As far as on the circuit now, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Instead of it, it was always, you know, first it was aftermath, just them pretty much on their lonesome at seven point. And then, you know, seven point, I don't know what the fuck happened. They was three point. Yeah, now they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And then, you know, now, shit fire though, man. And that play right. that shit gonna be something. That shit gonna oh, be yeah. memorable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, people definitely got to get that popcorn. Hopefully, they got hella vendors out there. I'm not planning <laughs> on leaving that weekend. Hell no. Nah. All them food trucks better be out there. Yeah. <laughs> See. Yo, someone's got to get Dion's dad back out there. Like, his food truck was lit last year. Yeah. Yeah, when he was out there. Dude, you have yeah. the bread for the macaroni and shit. Dude, that macaroni is the point, man. <laughs> Joey got the itis just thinking about that shit. Bro, that stuff was not good. <laughs> for my uh, it's not good for my health, but I love it. I love it. 
every single moment of it. Big oh, shout out to Beyonce. Yeah, like he made, yeah, he made the yeah. Um, but like this playoffs is gonna be awesome. Like I, the projected matchups right now. We looked at earlier: Rampage, Bad Boys, uh, Bulls, Titans, Misfits, and Ride Out, Rebels, and No Mercy. This is in the same lineup that all four games can go either way if you ask me. And even if you throw yeah. in an eight nine match of a bad boys and venom, you know, with the way that bad boys been playing, could they slip up the venom? Who knows what's gonna happen? Like this right. is what nine man is all about. Like this is gonna be the best playoffs I think anyone has really seen out of the D and B with the sheer amount of talent between all sides. Um and you especially look at the teams that have come up this year, like the Bulls, who I think have really stood out as a new team that nobody really expected anything out of coming in. But they've been balling every week, and it's crazy to think. They could pull off an upset in the first round and make a run because of just how they've been competitive. Like, this league runs about 19 deep in terms of competition. Every game is a competitive game. But yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Like this is, you get no easy slouches. Like you might get one or two teams who come in every other season who might not compete, might not finish, but all in all, it's a circuit weekend every weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's 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 what I give uh, Robbie and Terrell kudos for, man. And shiz. you know, misfits when they stepped up in there, we knew that that was going to be a problem, just because of who they bring in. Um, you know, and with ride out coming over, like, like, damn, like, it's like, man, we can't relax for shit. Like, we can't nah. get an easy game. It's like, yo, we got to play every week. Man, it's, it, it's literally, a, I don't even call them upsets because the way how the competition is in the league, man, any given Sunday, it, it, it's it, like, it, there ain't no blowouts. They come down to literally... Who gets the ball at the last possession of the game and who scores under two minutes, whether you make a stop or, you know, you put the ball in the end zone. That's yep. what pretty much every game that came down to. Honestly, yep. like, all all year long. It's, and you don't, you don't hear no, you know, 38 team getting blown out, the game being stopped early and shit. Hell no. Right, right, right. Like, yeah, it's, it's a potential for a loss every week. And it's it's just like you don't got no room for error, obviously, man. No, nah, not at all. You definitely got to play every every game. Yeah, every game yep. out there. Facts. One hundred percent agree with that, gentlemen. Um, that being said, Greg, you've been in many leagues in your career. Is this the most competitive league you've been in? By far. Yep, from top to bottom, I will say that from top to bottom, yes. Yes, without without no question. That also being said, Greg, on Sundays you also play in Maple. What do you think that it's better long term to play in two leagues like that, such Irma fell in Maple, or do you think it's time we eventually get some sort of uniformity in the DMV and just mix it up finally and just say, I mean, get them all together. I I would love, I would love just to have one big ass league. And, and if you if we can't do it that way, at least treat it like the NFL. You know how like you have the AFC and the NFC, and then you let people, you know, you let your you let your your conference people win that shit, whatever. So whoever wins that on FFL, they can play the teams in Maffle for the chip or or wherever else. You know, because I know there's Washington County and and probably other leagues out there that I'm not aware of. But as far as as far as what I know of, MAFL and OMFFL, man, like if, if we can't combine them and you got to keep it separate for whatever reason, then go ahead and just have have a an AFC tree like AFC NFC. You got your winners from each um, league, and then let them play. See who's the best in the DMV. Or well, at least I, out of those two leagues. I think that would be amazing. You know, you put it together. If that were to happen, we'd have 17 teams 
overall between both leagues. Um, the potential is definitely there. You think it would be an arrangement. To me, I would see it as a way, like, you could cross bracket when it comes to playoffs, and that way teams in the lower half of math want to travel to Baltimore to play road games to advance to the next round. Some sort mm. of way where instead of one giant site, you perhaps get it where teams could have home games to road games. Right. Or you could mix it up like your top half of the league. You know, let's just say your top whatever. If you have eight, I'm just throwing out a number. Your your top four plays, and then that that's that we'll consider that like an A division. And then you, at least that way everybody's playing. And then you have your bottom eight. I mean, your bottom four that's treated like the B division because not everybody's going to play or can play on that A, you know, quote unquote A level. So we we used to have the uh, the battle with the Beltway. Um, between yeah. Mafia and Baltimore. Remember the 295s mm-hmm. going to play that lands down. Yep. The, the two winners of the B bracket and then the two winners of the A bracket will play, but yep. I don't know what happened to that shit. It happened just that pretty much that one time. And, oh, and that man. was it. Yeah. That was it. I mean, we would have, we would cross the, you know, the league play every night, you know, especially in the spring. I didn't think they did it in the fall. Actually, we didn't do it in the fall. We would try to have the spring joint, but, uh, you know, I, I I don't know. That was between Kent and Robbie and Terrell, so. Yeah. I don't know. I, I honestly kind of like how the uh, them up north teams in Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, and they got that one big-ass tournament league. Yeah, yeah. We, we can do the same shit in the DMV. It's just, honestly, we I'm saying, we already know Robbie and them, they good. You know, I know KFFL is not, Nowhere near the talent level, but they're still fucking bump. Right, you right. You know what I mean? That triple didn't have a seat at the table one day because Southern Pennsylvania remains very undeveloped when it comes to nine man, but has grown tremendously over the last five years. Yeah, but but then you you got to get you you got to get fucking them Hoffman niggas on board, but. That shit dying right now, and I don't know what the fuck Kent gonna do, cause right, he ain't had, you know what I mean. Like besides, right. honestly, I don't even know who the fuck really is in Marvel besides the two Baltimore teams. Well, he still got like Blackhawks in them and shit, but yeah, you got Blackhawks, PME, uh, Dream. You know, I mean, FO still got that, but. It's not as much as it's not as rich as what they used to have. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, they, they used to have like live. twenty teams, man. Yeah, Matthews used to be live. Yeah. But, you know that shit looking like that shit slipping too. So pretty much, I don't know. I, I honestly, if it was me, I say, man, we just mix the four leagues up. Fuck it, look. Hey, no mercy. Y'all got to go to motherfucking Shippensburg and play one of them niggas. Yo, I, I heard it. Somebody's <laughs> <Somebody's lost. laughs> Why? Why you come back? Yeah, I heard why, to the movie. No, no, I heard y'all talking about that topic, and I was like, I got to come back. And then, and, and then I, I want shit. Somebody from Washington County, take your ass to Mathew. Somebody from Mathew, like, like, like you said, you split them up. And it's like every week, it's like, all right, look, you got this many games in Baltimore, this many games in D.C., your other half is on the road. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? And you separate four conferences, the winners from that shit. But but you know what, though? The problem was, at least in times past, nobody was willing to travel. We even had some teams in OMFFL. They wouldn't even travel to Mathful. They were like, nah, you know, we good. We'll stay right here. But And they'll have the Mathful teams come over. So... Not everybody was a willing participant. You got to think of it. Misfits, y'all going to travel everywhere. Oh, Same yeah, thing we with us. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you, so you're going to have those teams who are not afraid to go anywhere, you know, to, to play ball. But then you're going to have those teams, some of those teams that just like, you know what? Nah, you know, we, we may not be good. So, no, nah, we're going we're gonna to just stay home, try to, try to build our shit over here real quick, and then maybe branch out later. Because, you know, you figure there's a – I'm pretty sure there's a lot of teams out there that are in that 
I, I forgot what other league that you were saying. Was it KFL? How many of those teams have gone down to Ocean City and play? Man, Beat the only Martin the just only, did. Yeah, the only team X Dogs to the Martins and X Dogs. Yeah, I'm about to say. The, but the, what the, X Dogs was always in Washington County. To me, I don't, I don't know what their league. I thought I just called. So it for Washington. this spring, they're playing in KFFL because they try to play on Saturday leagues. Yeah, because you they, they, they um they they they, they uh. They bobble thumping, so they don't really play something shit. So, yeah, I just had to come back real quick because y'all, y'all, I ain't gonna say struck a nerve, but what y'all saying is just like it's the blueprint has been drawn, the blueprint has been delivered. So, I, you know, I'm a con- construction guy, right? So, I, yeah. I send my drawing to the county, <laughs> and the county inspector can either <laughs> accept it or deny it. So, all right. I'm gonna say is the inspectors denied. I'll draw on. So, so, so you, so just say them whole ass niggas scared. That's all you got. I, I ain't saying none of that. I'm saying, I'm saying all that right. our inspection, our paperwork was denied. We, we didn't get the loan. But no, I mean, realistically though, like we, we could do it on the grand scheme of things. I mean, even if you, you add the, the Washington County or the KFFFL, like, cause the, realistically with the amount of teams, if you take the, the, the three leagues or whatever, you're talking about, you know, maybe 24, 30 teams at most. You create four divisions. You only got to travel two times during the regular season, and only maybe once on the playoffs. It is simple. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big yeah. ass. And even when, even when we had the interleague play, only two teams didn't want to travel. It was Southside, and, and it was a new team in our league. I think it was one motion. Or, I forget who it was at that time. But Southside yeah. couldn't travel because you know they police mostly police officers. They can only play in the morning, so it's a big commitment for them. So we adjusted and we set the teams down. Logistically, it can work. The teams want it. Everybody want it. It's just the inspectors got to sign off on the permit. That's all I'm gonna say. Like it's it's just it's, that's all, that's it and that's all. So the teams want it. I said this on a post months ago. The teams want it. Let's make it happen. That's it and that's all. Because it, it, it's logistically. I mean, you know, the, the, the reason it was this season was it wasn't enough time to plan for it. I could have it scheduled down to three days. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it, it ain't hard. We could do it. Like, if you look at what Math will have right now, y'all going down there, Rampage going down there. So what's right. The, y'all got right. six, seven teams, I think, six or seven teams. Or Maybe. eight teams. Yeah, so, I mean, if you look at so between the two leagues, if you, you're talking 16 teams. You only get if you got if, even if you do ten games, you're only gonna play four opponents from down there, six opponents from up here, and vice versa. So is is you only got to travel one time during the regular season, so you're gonna play two games down there, two games up here. Then playoff time come if we do the playoffs in two weekends, you go down there for one week, you can come up here for one week, or we can have a whole the the first round of the playoffs could be in math, second round could be in at, at Kenwood. So like we can make it work. It's just. They got signed off on it. My, I, I, honestly, at this point, and you know, I don't really give a fuck how the fuck them niggas feel, man. Them niggas need to just get squares the fuck out. That <laughs> shit failing. I don't care what nobody <laughs> say. That shit failing. Ain't no more winners of the motherfucking league. <laughs> Everything right now was out Charm City. That's where all the bump is. You want the bump, yeah. you got to come to Charm City. Think about it. Yeah, if the Scorpions and Rampage don't even go over there, you got P and me. Bro, like, like look at that fucking, it'd be like fucking Washington County, just playing at a better fucking field. Like real, real <laughs> shit. Like, and 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 y'all, y'all, y'all fucking scared. Like, come on, man. We try. We try like represent the fucking area. This is the DMV, man. I'm I'm tired of fucking. You know, get beat up on these by these fucking New York niggas and shit, man. Mm-hmm. It's time for us to come together and start really beating up on each other. But you know what I mean, shit. Get a prepare yeah. iron sharp iron, iron like sharp they iron. say. Yep. Exactly, yeah, I mean, man. You, you look at a league. I mean, if you like, like Prop was saying, like if you take the top eight, you can have an A and a B division. You know what I mean? And it'd be legit. I mean, if you take like, like just talking about it based off the teams we got right now, your A would be. PME, Scorpions, Misfits, Rampage, well, may, maybe Rampage, depending on which direction they want to go. 
uh, Elite Rebels, um, you know, down there, Dream. So, I mean, you got six teams right there that, that could be the quote-unquote A division, and that's a quality league. So you play your five opponents in your A division, and then you play five opponents that's in the quote-unquote B division, and then you had an A playoffs and you had a B playoffs. Like the, right. the, it, yeah. But what, like you said, what it does is it gives you the opportunity to play against the best from both. You know what I mean? And then when you, you get out there, you're ready for it. I mean, just being real, like Dream, you look at Dream. That's a young team. They feisty. They, they balling, right? Yeah. They come up here and play. When they go to Atlantic City, they're going to be more ready because they're not just playing right. against, you know what I mean, like the same right. people that they right. used to. Like even for us, like this season with Misfits and Ride Out and, and Elite Rebels coming out, now we got some new taste of energy. And like when we played Elite and TJ came out and was doing all this, shit, it was like, damn, like we got to catch up. Like it, it sped our game up. You know what I'm saying? But like yeah. when you just like, like for instance, like the Scorpions, like they get used to playing us. Like if it, when we play league ball, like right now, Rampage got our number, Scorpions got our number, Bad Boys got our number. Like, but then when we go play the other team, it's like, oh man, shit, that 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 wasn't nothing because we played Rampage, we played Bad Boys, we played Misfit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it would help in the grand scheme of things because now Dream, like, all right, we just bumped against Misfit, we just bumped against the Elite Rebel, uh, we just bumped against the the, the a, a semifinal team and the Scorpions. Now we ready to play against the, the Bulldogs. Now we ready to play against right. the event. You right. know what I'm saying? Now we ready for the punishes. But when you're not playing. A, that level of competition, you can't be ready for. Shit. Hey, now, hey, you right, because I can honestly say as far as my career, like, I, I did play A for for Mayhem, but I would say in the B division, when I was with AFN, Scorpions was like, if we could beat them, because they beat the, they, they crushed us in Gettysburg when they first started back up and they was winning everything that year. So they was kind of like our pinnacle, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you arrive. And then even with no mercy, you know what I mean? Like, all right, we want to play a ball out the DMV right now. No mercy is the top dog. So we got to beat them. You know what I mean? To even, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, sure, your, sure. that's your, that's your uh, uh, what do you call it? Your, your, uh, damn. It's like. That's your not not necessarily goal, but that's where you measure up against. It's like, yo, do we yeah, measure? If we can beat these cats. We good. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We, we can definitely hold our own in the A. Yeah, yeah, I feel, fast. I feel what you're saying. Yeah, so that's that, that, that. Like that's how I measure this. So if teams take that same approach, you might get a, a bum ass team from Washington County, or not. Let me not say a bum ass team. You might get an up and coming team like, like, like Tri State Spartans or something. Let's say they do bump with Rampage, you know what I mean? Or they play them a couple times. You might get smacked around, but, you know, your third, fourth time, you hanging in there with them. Right. You might get an upset. Now that prepares you for the main stage. That prepares you when you go out of town. You know what I mean? Yep. You've been there before. So, like you said, yeah. iron sharp is iron. Yeah, I mean, like, and that's the biggest thing. I mean, me and Rel talk about it all the time. Like, if you look at Washington County specifically, right? And, again, this is just me talking football. I ain't a commissioner right now. I'm just I'm a, I'm a player. <laughs> like if you look at if you look at if you look at Washington County specifically, right? The only tournament those guys usually go to is Ocean City. Right. But like right. you know what I mean. But like realistic, if they if they did more, like they could, like you said, like they they would be better. Like you know what I mean. Like y'all wouldn't have went up there and just ran through the league two three years in a row and then when the drilling the rush was out there, it was only adrenaline rush. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude. Right. You, you want more, you know what I mean? So, like, if they come down, like, our tournament is closer to them than, than Ocean City, but we've never had a Washington County team play in, in Charm City. You know what I'm saying? Come down the road, get this bump, yeah. like you said, and then when you go back up, like, Tri-State, we did the little four-state thing when we played y'all in the Spartans. I mean, in, in, in Tri-State, the Spartans came out, boom, they hit us the first, second play of the game, touchdown. And yeah. Like, oh, shit, like, they, they want it. You know what I'm saying? You got a guy like Damian who been in the A and he's been balling. But like like you said, like if they get in that work and now try to stay coming to the tournament because they was able to play us in that little four state that Joey set up. Now they like, you know what? We can actually compete because this team, you know, we like, you know, Venom or whatever, they play in a good league. 
they a decent team, but we only lost to them by a score. So now let's like they out there, you know what I mean? Like when we was the Hawks, like we was winning in tournaments, we finished in the top ten, and like so mm-hmm. now they know like all right, we can play against a decent B team. So let's yeah. why not why not hit the road? You know what I mean? But like like you said before, like a lot of teams just they stay in their little corner and they like we only going to do what we comfortable with. And then they, you know what I mean? It just, it waters it down. Like, you not, you got to give these teams something to, to to be hungry for. You know what I mean? Yeah, you ain't, you ain't going to never grow if you're not uncomfortable anyways. Like, and we exactly. all know this. We, you know, we all play circuit and travel, miles, money. Man, look, you got to go out of town and you got to, like, I, I need to know your game translate. The same way right. you playing in front of your mom and them. Yep. When we go out of state and we in New York and it's just us brothers in this hotel room, I need to know you still can perform then too. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can't be talking about you the best and shit or you up and coming and you just stay in your in your comfort zone. You you right. never gonna be shit. You, you're you, a local. You're local. Exactly. <laughs> lab, lab, lab. Lab, yeah. Yeah. Look away, motherfucker. Yeah, yep. my county ass niggas. Right. Now you you, you right though. And uh, like I say, I mean, I feel like you know what I mean. Right like, with the game evolving, it's just like, I mean, I I could I could repost the fly from 2016, and I would, like we talked about doing a state championship. Like you could set it up, like just a Maryland alone, you could have a 35 team tournament. You know what I'm saying? Like just with right, yes. the teams from right here, and have an A, B, and a C that's legit and you're going to get competition from top to bottom. You know what I mean? And then you can yeah. even do like, like on Saturday you play one A team and one B team and then the B team, you know what I mean? Play a C team. Yeah. And you, mm-hmm. Just so you can get a feel for it to slowly elevate teams up because like, like what's going to happen? Like just, I mean, what I've learned over time is like when you when your team is stagnant, right? You're not hitting the road. And then like, let's say the Scorpions hit a hey, Robbie, I want you to come ball with me. Your team don't travel. Let let me give you a taste of this. Now I go with the Scorpions and taste the road. And my team not hitting the road. I'm gonna just go rock with them. Like it's it's yeah, fun. Right. It's, it's more competitive. And then if I'm traveling with them anyway, I might as well learn their system. You see what I'm saying? Like, and I yep. feel like teams don't realize yep. even if you hit the road and you get your ass whipped a couple first couple of times, eventually you are gonna grow from it. And it give you guys something to look forward to. In the brotherhood you create, just learning yes. somebody you might not never ever talk to because y'all somewhere where all you could do is, is, is socialize. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, nah. You, know you speak in straight facts because that, like, that's the biggest thing, man. The brotherhood, the ups and downs of, you know, some, you know, sometimes you go to these tournaments on the road, you perform well, shit. Then sometimes you get there. And you lose that first game on Sunday at nine o'clock. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Then you get hit. Yeah, and that should be tough. Yeah. And then, and then you then you Ooh. really see your brothers and how the niggas act and who stick around and yeah. who right. want to start the side conversations, who want to leave. Like, yep. And yep. And, and yeah, and, and, and any any like any team that's not traveling, when your players, if you just that home team. And they go travel and they get a taste of that, you're gonna lose that player eventually. You're going yep. to. It, it just happens. Yeah, they got once they find they fit, they gone. Yeah. Once they find it. that team they gel with, they gone. And they win. Yeah. <laughs> and they win it was a fool. Yeah, I ain't leaving this. It's double negative. They ain't facts. So, I, yeah. Man, you know, we got our mistress, we gotta go, man. We try to be the first team ever. To win all four leagues. That's what's up. Yeah, what's ain't nothing wrong with that. That shit ain't never been done yet. No. Nah. I like that. No. Nah. I like yeah. that. No, nah, not two, at all. Yeah, we got two out of the four. But what so four? We, we got Ke- on, which one y'all which which other two y'all want? Oh, oh, oh we, we want Mafu and OMFFA. Oh no, 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 the, no, 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 the two we won. Yes. It was in uh, Keystone, and we won Washington County. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So then, okay. yeah, so we get back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. we go win the we gonna win the Maffle B League and the OMFFL A League. <laughs> 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 you gonna hang the banner up and put the cleats underneath. I'm done. <laughs> no, he ain't gonna do that. 
Here you go. Five five right I ain't gonna never right. put the crease up. I'm gonna always be on the sideline drink playing Buffalo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Rest of my life. I feel you. I feel you. I'm gonna get off for real this time. Y'all. I'm gone. I ain't even hey, gonna hey, we're gonna talk no about more. you when you leave, Rob. Yeah, cool. Come back. <laughs> No, nah, I'm going to just turn the phone off this time. I got to get up in the morning. <laughs> I, I should have turned it off. I still had my AirPods on. And the phone was sitting in the other side of the room. I was like, I like this topic. Let me go get the phone real quick. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gone, fellas. Y'all have a good night. Hey, have a good right, one, man. You too, man. Uh, hey, Rob. Yeah, he better leave. I know. No, he's still connected. We fucking y'all up, Robbie. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not looking forward to seeing no motherfucking ride out. Yo, oh, that's who y'all got? Well, 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 it it just depends on how the practice shape up. Oh, oh, you talking about the playoff? I thought you meant this weekend coming. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, we got Bulls and shit this weekend. But I'm saying Bulls, they they up and coming, man. They yeah. just stick together. Oh, yeah. yeah, they they stick together. I just think they need some veteran leadership. Like that, that's when you think about all these young teams, man. That's what they missing. They missing that that one person, that veteran, that can put. Yeah. That, uh, 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 let, let me be more specific. That veteran that has won, yeah. that knows how to win. It's different to being a veteran where you just yeah, I played the game and I ain't never won shit, as opposed to that veteran that yo, I've won. Let me help you get there. You know. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. there's two. Big difference. Yeah, yeah, mo- most definitely. Because a lot of them, like, you young, but, you know, in this game, if you honestly look at it, man, all the all the top non-man players of great teams, you got, you got young pieces, man, but all them dudes is like 30 and over. When you think about it, real shit. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, your ass to be extinct, shit. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, but you still all dead though, but they like real shit. They, they now, nah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It, like it's the veteran president. I mean, the, the veteran president. president. Yeah, yeah. But you, but you know what, too? Like each team, though, like even with ours, it's like, yeah, we got some young cats, but it's like, hey, look, no matter what y'all want to call yourselves in the future, like if y'all still want to play this nine man game, at least that way you can learn something from the older veterans. Yeah. And then bring your team, you know, like, hey, you got something that, to build a, you know, to build upon, you know, like, hey, when I'm done, get somebody in that could, you know, that can handle that, that quarterback position or whatever the case may be, but just still, still have that good legacy. You know, you have that name by backing, you know, at yeah. least that way you could do something. Yeah. Just like with y'all with the misfits. It's like whenever Chris wants to retire and, and really hand over the reins to to Sosa, you know. Hey, shit, I say, I, dang, the boy need to be the to be the man anyway. I mean, I already said that myself. <clears throat> but definitely having uh, Chris there is definitely an asset, though. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, man, Chris, man, Boone, a hell of a quarterback, man. Oh yeah, smart as shit. Oh yeah, his hell concepts man. and I and you know it. It's it's different playing with with like each different style when Tay's at the helm versus Chris because you know mm-hmm. the different types and concepts of the offense. But yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong with either one. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, Mm-mm. and shit yep. like, but hey, that's it. Shit is like playing y'all, man. It's the difference between playing you and playing fucking Samari. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely got to prepare for both. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, you definitely got to gotta prepare for both. And then if I see both of y'all niggas on the sideline, I'm like, fuck. We gotta watch film on both these niggas tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Y'all had my number the last two times we played, so it's like, damn. I gotta go back to the go back to the drawing board. It's like, all right. I gotta get these niggas now. They, they got me twice, back to back. I'm like I don't like this. Shit. <laughs> I don't like this. I feel like my man in, in, in belly. I got the banana and the glasses on. I don't like this shit. <laughs> uh. That's all good, man. Shit, we've been playing. You've been busting our ass for fucking 
just the B days, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, we, I hope we fucking win eventually, nigga. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, dang, man. Yay. Yeah, have a good night, man. I'm about to get the fuck up on here. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that Quavo catching up to your ass, huh? Hey, man, it's the only fans life. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, uh, yo, yo, you my man, yo, nigga. God damn, man, <laughs> you wild. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Y'all All right, man. All right, All right see hey, y'all. Joe, you talk, talk about how 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 you did us wrong, man. We we want to win shit. Y'all wrong. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear this whole Atlantic City rundown. Come on now. I'm, I'm, I'm my run to the plane right Atlantic now. City. What you mean, Greg? Come on, man. You ain't you ain't have us winning shit. I don't even think the scores were close. I don't remember right now. It's oh, not oh, oh now you got. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all yeah. Saturday, I forget. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Y'all played play, uh Anarchy. We played the Blazers. And we played, played the Blazers and the Lions. Right? Blazers. Y'all, y'all bought out against Blazers. That was a beat them. That wasn't no man. That wasn't even that was a great game, man. That was 21-20. No, I'm thinking of Blazers Lions. My bad. That was 32 20. Yeah, yeah. Blazers Lions. See, I was stuck on field one all weekend, so I didn't see any of you all on that end. Uh oh, you only found the results. You like, oh. Yeah, oh, I was, at it. I was like, okay, no mercy. No mercy one, huh? I'm in the work right now, okay. Yeah, uh, you all beat the Blazers. That was a nice little battle between you and Rob Lane. Uh, run us through both games, actually, you had against him that weekend. Oh, yeah. Man, both games were close. You know, I, I – yeah, Rob, Rob is at, like, the first – crazy part is they got the ball first. Their first fucking play, touchdown. I'm like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? And then our first play, touchdown. I was like, okay, whoo, you know. That now I was like, all right, now now we got rid of that shit. Now let's play ball. Yeah. Then it became a battle. Like, yeah, Robbie Robbie's a hell of a quarterback. Robbie's a hell of a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's one of those games I had. I, I wish I had a chance to watch. Like, always nice to see you and Rob Lane duke it out. Lions. I want to say that was three nothing. That was actually a, a great. <laughs> that was actually they beat us three nothing. And when you I say we had we had two drop touchdowns, we had two drop touchdowns, and I overthrew my. Shouldn't even say I overthrew. I got too excited because Lil Reese was wide open. I was like, wow. And when I threw it to him, I thought he was 6'4 instead of, you know, like 5'5". Five, five, five. It's an easy mistake when you're far away. Everything just looks like it's taller. Bro, we weren't even – we were in the red zone. <laughs> it wasn't that far away. I, like I said, I just got to – In your old age, Greg, <laughs> eyesight tends to get a little weary. You know? <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't have no excuses for it, but, yeah – like there was, there was definitely some opportunity, man. Like we really, we should have won, and the Lions know that we should have won that game. And they, and actually, shit, they blocked the field goal too. Like we had no problem driving on them guys. None. They just, they just beat us though. They just beat us. And then, um, what was that? Uh, Sunday. Shit, I'm trying to figure out. Who, yeah, we played the Blazers. Beat them. I think there was another team. I forgot who else we played. Wanna beat those guys? Yeah, it was definitely two teams, and then we wound up losing to obviously main event. And again, we had we had our opportunities to win that game. Just came up a little bit short. Your thoughts on where No Mercy stands at the moment? Because right now, we in the new A rankings, we got you at number five. How do you think this team measures up against the big four and Punisher, Strong Island, Lions, and main event? I think we actually match up very well against those guys, considering we played what? We played the Dogs, main event, 
Who else? The Lions. The only team that we didn't have not played was the Punishers. Those games, obviously on paper, they were, a, you know, score one touchdown or less that they beat us by. And we've had opportunities to win those games. Punishers, we never had the privilege to step on the same field with them, at least this year, other than Florida. But not as no mercy. It's gonna be a lot. So of- right now, like I said, right now we are jealous. It's starting to, you know, we already set down the glue. Now this stuff's starting to stick. So, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of No Mercy for this year coming up. Um, final week of the regular season. Um, you already talked to Robbie about your thoughts. So uh, playoffs are coming up next week. Right now, it looks like you're going to be playing Elite Rebel. We'll talk more and more on playoffs after we see where everybody ends up at. Because we still got one more big week ahead in OMFFL. Right. Charlotte City right around the corner. Are you ready for this summer, Greg Proctor? Of course. <laughs> like right now, yeah, I'm, I'm liking where we stand. I'm really liking what we're doing as a team, as a unit. Like, yeah, it's it's really starting to become a team. And, and everybody's playing selfless right now. Like, we have people just stepping up, playing out of position. Like, all right, all right. shoot, even in Maffle last week, we had a couple people that, you know, we had a couple D linemen playing O-line out there. So, yeah. So we were doing our thing, man. We, we, and we're still winning. That's like the main it. thing. <laughs> you guys have done great this year, balling out in both OMFL, Baffle, and making some noise in the circuit all of a sudden. No mercy is about to show no mercy to all the competition this upcoming year. I don't know about mercy, you know, showing no mercy. As long as we win, that's, that's the bottom line. <laughs> I don't care if we win by one, one point. That's all that matters. Win, 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 no matter what. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this team does on the field. It's going to be a good time when we see no mercy Scorpions, Misfits, Ride Out, Elite Rebels, Rampage, the Bulls, the Bad Boys, Venom, Maryland Titans. Oh. No, just, just listen to all those teams that you just mentioned. Everybody can play. Facts. All those teams can play. All those teams could go to a different league and potentially win. At least do extremely well. I agree with that 100%. At least yeah. do extremely well. Yeah. And yeah, that's what I look forward to the most is seeing who comes away with the championship this spring. Especially with the big championship coming this summer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we plan on playing in that. I'm looking forward <laughs> to that. That A bracket looks very interesting. Yes, indeed. Gonna yes, a, indeed. Going to be a good summer. Trunk yeah. City's going to be heating up. Indeed. I like, I like what we're doing. It's only going to get better. Agreed 100%, Greg. Anyways, anyhow, anywho, I'm getting, I'm getting tired of myself on my end. Let's yeah, man. I'm, I'm about to get off myself, man. Got to get, yeah. Got to put this kid upstairs. Yeah, I got to put that kid over there asleep away. He's been <laughs> for about a good 30 minutes now over there. <laughs> All oh, right, Joey. Hey. Let me try to turn this real quick. Can I do it without yeah. time? Oh, yeah. without time? Oh, there it is. There he is. Everything else. There's oh, Rawls. Shit. Look at this shit right here. Pass that right on the chair. Throw a water bottle at him. Tell him it's from me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he threw, somehow he threw it through the phone. Right through the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Greg. All right, man. You want to feel Sunday. Indeed. Have a good one. You too. Good night. Good night.